Hello everyone, my name is Alba Rivas. I am a developer advocate here at Salesforce and today I'm going to show to you how to use a command from the Salesforce CLI that allows you to create manifest files such as package XML or destructive changes.xml. But first, something important to highlight. Storing and maintaining a manifest file is only strictly needed when working with the metadata API format. We recommend you to migrate to the source format because it's much easier to read and to work with. Source format commands support indicating a list of metadata components a list of directories in which your source files are stored, or a manifest file. Additionally, source commands on each release support more and more metadata components, and I recommend you to take a look at the Salesforce CLI release notes to know more. Said that, let's go back to our command. The command belongs to the SFDX CLI and it is written SFDX force source manifest create. There are three ways in which you can generate a manifest using this command. And we're going to start with the first one, which is to generate a manifest indicating a source folder from your local project. So first you write the command and then you indicate the source path with minus minus source path. For instance, let's indicate our default source folder. And lastly, with minus minus output dir, you specify a folder where the manifest will be created. Let's indicate a folder called manifest. And there we have our package.xml file has been creating and contains all our source folder metadata components. The second way to generate a manifest file using this command is by including a list of metadata components. For instance, let's reference an Apex class called class to destroy. With the minus minus manifest type property, you specify the type of the manifest you want to create. This only affects the manifest name. Valid values for this parameter are package, pre, post, and destroy. We will indicate that the manifest should be called destructive changes post, and we do that by setting the manifest type to post. We'll use the same output there. And there it is. Here we have our destructive changes post meta file. A very common use case for manifests that are created by selecting certain metadata components is to perform destructive changes in your or pre or post deployment. Now that we have both our package XML and our destructive changes post XML files, we can execute the force source deploy command, setting the package XML as the manifest to deploy the whole project, and setting the post destructive changes property to our destructive changes manifest. This means after the deployment, our class to destroy class will be deleted. And there we have it. If you are not a command loving person or simply you don't remember the metadata component names, VS Code extensions come to your rescue. The extensions include a shortcut that allows you to generate manifest files without having to write commands. Right click on the components that you want to include and then select the generate manifest file shortcut. And there we have, the manifest file has been created for us. Finally, the third way in which you can generate a manifest using this command is by indicating an org. 
you indicate an or with the minus minus from or flag and all the metadata components that you have in that or are going to become part of your manifest. Optionally, you can include unlocked packages or manage packages components with the minus minus include packages flag. This option can be useful to retrieve all the metadata components from your or, for instance, to store them for the first time in source control. Once the manifest has been created, you can execute the force source retrieve command indicating the manifest file that you want to use to download all the metadata components. One last VS Code extensions tip. If you are not sure about the metadata components that exist in your OR, you can navigate to OR browser and take a look at them. Optionally, you can retrieve individual metadata components by clicking on Retrieve. Very simple, just a few clicks. If you want to know more about this command or any of the Salesforce CLI commands, head to the first link on the screen. If you want to know more about the Salesforce extensions for Visual Studio Code, navigate to the second link. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you want to watch more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to receive notifications. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in the next one.